I'm glad they went. Mm -hmm. People could have been laying out my yard dead this morning. I'm glad the police were here and the ambulances. 20-year-old James Taylor says it was a party for the record books, capturing these images while standing on the roof of his home with a crowd of roughly 2,000 people cheering him on. With two DJs, a fire thrower, go-go dancers, and strippers, he says he successfully threw the largest party ever to hit West Michigan. I didn't force anything down anybody's throat. I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whenever it is everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. That was their decision. And it wasn't just outside. Play. How many people do you think were in your house at one time? Probably at least 500, but I, that's... In this little house? Oh, yeah. Taylor says his house got so crowded, people couldn't move from one room to the other, and the floorboards were shaking because of all the extra weight. People, like, literally, if you wanted to come in from, let's say, the garage, and you were walking in, it would have taken you 20 minutes to get to here. Taylor says it was a gathering to celebrate a high school friend's birthday and also a goodbye party for him before he moves to California next week. Taylor says his address was given out at about 4 p.m. on Saturday. Just enough time to give a heads up for people who wanted to attend, but not enough time for word to get out to police. I guess somebody drove all day during the party day to, from Tampa all the way to here just to come to this party. The Macosta County Sheriff's Office says at least 2,000 people, many of them under 21 years old, attended the party, resulting in at least six drug overdoses and the sexual assault of a 19-year-old Mount Pleasant woman. What do you say to anyone who says you're responsible? I am. It's my house. You got to deal with it afterwards, but apparently it was worth it. Accepting part of the responsibility, Taylor says he was unaware anyone at the party was underage and says their parents should be held accountable. Any like, time you that you're pointing at something, you got three fingers pointing back at you. And if you're a parent that's got a 14-year-old child that's been able to be at my house all night, and apparent, according to the police, there was a lot of them here. So I think some parents should do some reflections on their parenting before they start getting mad at me. Now more popular than ever, Taylor says he's not ruling out another party. Any uh, more parties here planning? <laughs> There's always a coming home party. I feel like anybody that's got a real problem with me partying out here in the middle of nowhere is a spaz.